More states are joining the movement to add or expand stay-at-home orders. Joining me right now is Texas Congressman, House Energy and Commerce Committee member, and medical doctor himself, Michael Burgess. Congressman, always a pleasure to have you this morning. Thanks very much for joining us. Great. Thanks for having me on. So I guess let me start the conversation with asking you what you believe horrific means. What do you think the president meant when he says we are entering the next two weeks and it's going to be horrific? Well, I know it means different things to different people, but I, I think the scale of the, the scale of potential human suffering and human death is something that uh, we're not used to seeing. And it will be startling. It will be astonishing. And yes, it'll be horrific. What, what to do about it? I mean, we're, we're you know, we're talking about uh, stay at home. We're talking about worries about uh, being airborne. What, what's your best advice at this point from your medical uh, experience in, in terms of what people should be doing? Should we be afraid to go outside given these stay at home orders? Is it in the air, Congressman? No, it's not in the air generally. It's in the air within usually within a two foot radius of someone who has the virus and is infective. The problem is that people can be infected before they're symptomatic. So that makes this, this particular outbreak, this particular illness more difficult since we don't have yet good viral countermeasures. We don't have an antiviral agent that's reliable that we know about. We do, do not have a vaccine yet. Uh, the best thing then are the non-pharmacologic interventions, which is social distancing, which is staying at least six feet away from everyone around you. And uh, certainly yeah. the offices that have done that, I think uh, I, I think the benefit has, uh, you know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to prove a negative. But if you yeah. didn't get sick, then you did a good job that day. Well, it's it's just extraordinary. We're all dealing with these unprecedented times. And then there's the economic impact. So the conversation now has turned to infrastructure, adding infrastructure to any stimulus plan. Democrats pushing for a five year, seven hundred and sixty billion dollar infrastructure plan unveiled earlier this year as part of a potential phase four stimulus package. The president did not co-sign, but he has spoken about the importance of re rebuilding America's roads and bridges. He's offering his own two trillion dollar, 10 year proposal. So what do you think, Congressman? Is it too early to start adding billions of extra spending to a potential fourth stimulus package when we're not really clear on how the third stimulus package is going to impact things? That's exactly the situation. It's way too early. Uh, look, the month of March, uh, Congress passed three unprecedented bills. Um, we're not even going to feel the effects of the small business loans until tomorrow. So I do think it's uh, appropriate to take a pause and let's see how the things that we've done, see how they work. Things that don't work, perhaps yeah. they do need to be fixed. Things that work but are running out of money, maybe we need to extend. I am really distrustful of the Speaker of the House when they say we're going to craft the next uh, stimulus package. It will be a, a, an ideological left-driven wish list, and, and I don't think that's the correct thing for us to do. Yeah, Liz Peake, jump in here, especially since Nancy Pelosi yeah, I, uh, on the first go round wanted to add funding for Planned Parenthood, wanted to add funding for solar panels. She did get her twenty five million dollars in there to the Kennedy Center. We know. Yeah, for right, sure. They laid everyone of off. Uh, good morning, Congressman. My question on the infrastructure is this. The, the uh, Democrats are talking about a much smaller number than President Trump, and they're saying it's in line with what Republicans want. Are, are they conceding that we're going to have to have private partnerships involved in this infrastructure building? I mean, remembering that, yes, we just added a huge amount of money to the federal debt, and Americans are sort of horrified by all the spending. But infrastructure is popular, and if it really rebooted construction trades and other things like that, I could see where if it if it calls on the private sector and is well managed, it could be a very popular proposal. There's no question that the 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 need for significant infrastructure investment exists because it did before the virus uh, before the virus sure. hurt us. Here's here's right. the thing though to, to add it to a stimulus package. Well, number one, the economy doesn't need a stimulus. The economy needs a cure for the virus, and once that happens. Right. 
uh, no stimulus package is going to be necessary. Governor Cuomo may be right, it'll be a new normal, but the fundamentals of the economy so far are, are still there, and the economy, I suspect, can, can rebound pretty quickly. Now, a good idea might be that we do our job for a change, do the regular order. If there's a stimulus uh, bill that's needed, not a stimulus, I'm sorry, an infrastructure bill that's needed, then we should do our work, we should do the hearings, we should assemble the data. Uh, come up with a number, pass it on the House floor, send it to the Senate, and then see if the president will sign it. But it's not a stimulus. Stimulus is not required right now. Yeah. What's required is help. And these response bills were were just that, to help people through through the, the tough patch. And why would why would the American people believe that any stimulus package is going to be clean, pure infrastructure when we know everybody's trying to get their own lobbying projects in there? I mean, really, you're right. Do the job. I mean, as, as your colleague in the Senate said this weekend to me, uh, Senator Kennedy, it's, it's, uh, it's porn uh, that's going in all of, these, uh, all, all of these bills. So, I mean, I, I think we actually, I agree. I think the American people would like to see an impact of what we've spent already. Yes. And again, the, the small business uh, uh, Paycheck protection doesn't start until tomorrow. Uh, let's see how that right. goes. It may run out of money quicker than anyone thought, in which case it would be necessary to replenish if this goes on longer than anyone thought. But for right now, let's take a let's take a pause and see what see, see what's working. And then, yeah, no yeah, question about infrastructure. Yeah. I, mean, I got I got projects in my district yeah. I'd I'd like to see done tomorrow. But there's a regular way of to course. do that. Congressman, thank you for weighing in. We appreciate it. Good, Good to see you, sir. Congressman Michael Great, Burgess joining you. us. Coming up.